Yeah, she's a bit dirty. But at least she has a full tank of gas. Howdy y'all, Michael here. Today is Friday. And I don't know what day of the week it is. Hang on, let me think about it. Monday's the 26th, which means Sunday's the 25th, Saturday's the 24th. Today is Friday, February 23rd, 2024. And uh, I took the day off from work, I took the day off yesterday just to rest and recoup a little bit. And I know it's been a long time and, oh my gosh, I lost my beard. <laughs> And I'm in black glasses then now. So uh, a lot of things have changing in life. Uh, not necessarily pleasant, but we're going to power through it. And, uh, you know, life has its mountain peaks and its valleys. And I may get into it uh, sometime later. But not this video, because this video, we're going down to Dallas Market Hall. And we're going to uh, enjoy the Dallas RV show and check out what they got. So come hang out with me. Just arrived here at Dallas Market Hall. They do have a free parking garage, which is always nice. That's Dallas Market Hall. I'm sure this place has been there since the 50s or 60s. Over there is the World Trade Center for Dallas. That's where all the manufacturers and vendors and stuff, they meet with the uh, resellers there. That's uh, not an open thing like this is for the different events. We got the Renaissance Hotel, we called that the Lipstick Hotel back in the 80s and 90s when it was built. And the famous Hilton Anatole. Uh, Ronald Reagan stayed there during the Republican Convention back in the 80s. Lots of history in Dallas here. Lots of history. When you walk in, pretty amazing. First I gotta get tickets. Oh, I just love the smell of new here. It's McLean's booth. This is really a, a sale than a regular RV show, I guess you say. Okay, it's the first time I've ever touched a Winnebago Echo. <laughs> Very cool concept vehicle. It's more of an off-roading type vehicle. Great product. Well, we're going to let these people go by here. Winnebago Echo. It's only been around two or three years, I want to say. It's more of an adventure type vehicle. The TV there. Got your nice little dinette right here. Your Norco refrigerator. And this is ice cold. It looks like a 12 volt compressor fridge. Oftentimes you can make these beds to where they move together. And it's kind of twin beds back here. You can hang out with your buddies and go fishing and go a little bit off road. Now, of course, it, this is on a Mercedes chassis. This is a new chassis, and I believe it's four wheel drive. It's a diesel. What's neat about a lot of these Echoes is they got a lot of storage back here, and these multi systems which you can put cargo on. So I believe that is a. Uh, Instant hot water heater, so you don't have a limited tank. Little outdoor kitchen with a tub, stove, and a domestic refrigerator. But the bath, I'm not really going to check it myself. But check this out. There, this is very European. There's your toilet and your mirror and your sink. But flip it over here, it's a dry bath. So. Yeah, you get the floor wet, but you're not going to get the toilet wet. That is very cool. 
and it is a four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive vehicle. Honestly, there's only a few that I'm really interested in out here. Uh, I am interested in some Class A's and some Class B's and Class C's. I did not expect to see this one out here. This is a uh, called a Gretsch, and this one is uh, very expensive, but very nice, very well built. Gresh makes actually motor coaches, like the big buses and stuff, so uh, when they did this, they did a really good job on it. Trust me, MSRP on this is almost $260,000. It's about a quarter million here at the show. And this is one of the two models I wanted to see. And this one actually has four seats up front, so your kitchen area and your bathroom area is going to be a little nicer. Oh my gosh, I just touched the seat. It's very soft le leather there. So here's your kitchen area. You got a sink, you got a convection stove, not convection, uh, induction stove. So no aluminum pans. You got a little TV back here. This will fold down to a bed. For three passengers back here, plus you have four up here with a little TV going. And this is your restroom. And this is my concern on a lot of these restrooms. And do they have it where I can get into it? Yes, they do. Okay. My concern is, look how much room you have here for a restroom. And it is called a wet bath. So basically where you poop, it's where you're gonna shower. But it does have a ventilation fan here. And here's my big question, and I'm gonna test it out. Do I dare to do this? All right. Can I fit in here? with the door closed get the door oh there's a mirror there you know what i think i can handle this i think i can handle this quite well i was really worried how small these things are but let me stand up okay my top of my hairs are starting to touch up here let me turn this camera around see if you can see it Not the most ideal. See, I'm touching right there, but I can just barely squat and take my little shower here. Very, very nice. I'm very pleased with this. Four quarter million dollars. Now the kitchen's a lot smaller. It's a lot smaller because you have those two extra seats up there. But it's all defined on the type of traveling you're expecting to do. It is on a Mercedes chassis, has all the safety systems that the Mercedes chassis has. It's got the Hey Mercedes item on the dash there. Kind of like a Hey Siri or a Hey, uh, or Alexa or you name it. And everything's operated from one place here. And most of these uh, do not run on generator. These run on a lithium system air conditioner back there a little fan right here max air fan beautiful this is one of those that if you're doing a lot of stuff around town and you occasionally want to go out this is luxury travel and this to show you the difference here here's a uh, the two seats in the front this is a very similar model but your kitchen's gonna be a little longer bathroom's gonna be longer you're gonna get a bigger fridge you just won't be able to carry as many people up front. But you see, driver's way up there. Kids are back here. Uh, playing the video games on this monitor right here. Very, very cool. IOGEN Lithionics. Very, very cool. And a microwave. Is it a convection microwave? I didn't check the other vehicle. That does look like a convection microwave to me. So it's an oven and a microwave. Very, very nice. You know, the shorter kitchen. I'm sure the bathroom's the same. Let's check the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom is exactly the same. Even has a place for you to hang your towels. A little clothesline here. Right there. I got a little fast. I'm a little excited first time I've ever filmed an RV show and a Nova cool fridge and that seems to be a compressor fridge very nice and I always wonder 
do you have enough room for ice cream and ice trays? And I think you do in this one. Love all the uh, little sponge drawer here. It's the same type. Nope. Let's see how they're built. Got dovetails right here. So it's not just a bunch of staples. And they make a grudge. You're going to pay for the quality and not for the shortcuts. So lots of storage up here and all the way around. And I love this marine style latching system here. Okay, I'm becoming a grudge fan. So looking at this one, this one's actually a bit more. 278,000. 274. That's what they're doing. Very, very good. Very, very cool. They got both the grudges out here. There's that one and this one. Let me know which one's your favorite. Let me know down in the comments. Now they have a lot more Class Bs here that I, I want to see, like the Revel. The Revel's an off-road Class B. Uh, the uh, more Gretsch. Here's a nice color one right here. Check this out. We may check this one out here pretty soon. It's what is this? Oh, it's another Revel, but with a nice, cool paint job. And that's for an adventurous type. Not necessarily what I would do, but. Uh, uh, something I would like to have maybe four-wheel drive that'd be kind of cool but so with van life van life is not normally you're going to campground life that's what an RV is good for at least in my uh, my thought van life is luxury travel so you're going from place to place to place and you uh, just want to have your own little kitchen to take on travel you can stay in hotels if you want to and it could be in the everyday driver um, you can't camp at campgrounds with your friends, but I prefer have a, to have a uh, Class A or Class uh, C to do something like that. But one of the other vans that I'm really looking forward to seeing is the Winnebago Travato. And I see one right behind me here. At well, first glance, I already know it's a K because of the way it's laid out. I don't know if it's the 59KL or the 59K. The L is the lithium package, which means no generator. But basically, you just have the two twin beds here. You got a smaller kitchen. You have a little another cool fridge with a little chiller compartment. You really don't have a freezer, but it is a compressor fridge. You have a little high point uh, microwave, convection microwave, and grill, it says. That's your little oven, your suburban cooktop your sink and what's cool about the K is you know if you're hanging out with friends the bathrooms in the back and I, I want to say it's a roomier bathroom here uh, there's your medicine cabinet this is your uh, drop-down sink and uh, you got let's just swing this thing out now you got your sink but if you want to you can open up the back doors and poo in nature I mean, if you're out in the middle of nowhere, why not? You got full ventilation there. Speaking of ventilation, you do have this little fan up here to exhaust the uh, unpleasantness. You have your uh, TV here. And some people love the K because it's a wide open plan. And it's uh, nice and roomy. It is on the Ram Promaster chassis. But very cool. Very cool. I could spend days upon days out here. I would love that. So this is a generator. Well, it says genset. I don't know. It's probably, it probably has a generator. And they're pretty quiet and they're like towards the center of the van underneath. So you really don't hear them. But that's the Winnebago Travato 59K. Not my absolute favorite, but it's one of my favorites. But this right here, as far as layout, this is the thing. This is the one I wouldn't mind having. This is the Winnebago 59GL. The reason I say it's the L, it's got the Pure 3 lithium systems. And I think it comes with three large lithium batteries. You can upgrade to your fourth battery. I don't know if you can do that aftermarket or that has to be done in the factory. But very different layout here. 
again it's on the promaster uh chassis and these chairs do turn around which is nice you do have a lockable storage area put your uh, valuables and stuff you don't want other people having the tv is here so it's in the back when it locks down back here so when you're driving this way you really can't watch tv on the go but you do have chairs here you got the, what's called a lagoon table this table right here can move over to that uh, mount there i think it's called ram mount i may be wrong on that and here's your uh, kitchen right here of course you got your window here the first uh version of this had a window that actually tilted out i believe and i don't want to mess this up let's see yeah this one has one that slides side to side and then you have i really don't want to mess it up it may be at the bottom there but you can adjust the uh, shades, daytime, nighttime shades. Maybe not on this particular one. Okay, your induction cooktop, because it is the lithium model. All the lithium models have induction cooktops. Got plenty of uh, storage around here. And this is the bed. And the bed is more of a full, not quite a queen. So you can actually sleep two people. It does fold up. It looks like they have the wind sleep system here, which is a nice comfortable mattress. So you don't have to buy a whole new mattress for your RV. You got your microwave right here. Uh, it does not have the convection. That's, that's kind of a downer, but it's not a big downer. I'll probably be doing grilling with this. But this bed is a Murphy bed. And when it goes up, you got all this room. To do stuff you got the uh it's an orcold i believe it's an orcold probably is i may be wrong correct me in the, in the comments if i'm wrong it is an orcold so you don't need to correct me saved you a comment it's, uh kind of a divided drawer space here but this mattress feels comfortable i don't really want to collapse everything down but here's some legs that pop out but you got all this space that you can put stuff in. But this is the one thing I really wanted to check out. Okay, so there's your toilet there. There's your shower. And I know on the newer ones, they kind of raise the floor a little bit on this. So I'm just going to pull this out here. Hope the sales doesn't mind. Because I want to get in here and see how it fit in here. So small sink, you know, you're just washing your hands and brushing your teeth with that. You do have a little sprayer to help clean out your toilet. Little area there. This little waterproof container right here to uh, put your toilet paper in. Little waterproof container there. You put whatever in there. Toothpaste, toothbrush, you name it. All right, I'm coming in here. You know what? Okay, my head's touching right here. But the design of this, okay, let me close the door here. Okay, the design of this is incredible, but my knees are bent. And I'm not sure what to think of that. My knees are kind of bent and I'm kind of having to go right here, but can I do it? I might be able to handle this. What about the toilet though? I'm gonna bring the lid up. Okay, I am on the toilet. And I could do this, I could handle this. I just, I'm concerned about the ceiling height because I'm actually right at six foot, 72 inches. Not six foot and 72 inches, but at six foot. And trying to take a shower here. It's kind of a deal breaker. All I need is this an inch or two more. And I would absolutely fall in love with this. Maybe if I remove that, but still I'm having to bend my knees. So, man, I'm so disappointed. There's uh, Scott with uh, uh, Go Small, Lift Large. He has one of the older versions of it and they actually have more room. But man, I don't want to have to hunch over every time I take a shower. Such a great design though. I mean, everything's right there. I don't need wide open spaces for an RV. 
So I'm fine with this. It's this the height of this. That's got me a little disappointed. But this is one of the goals of me coming out here. I wanted to go see it for myself, see what it felt like. Here's the Lithionic system. Got 170.2 hours left on this. You charge it by driving, which is pretty awesome. And you can turn the whole thing on and off there. It's just like turning on and off a generator. But it's lithionic, so there's no exhaust. You don't have to change oil. But it's got everything in here, right there. I'm just so disappointed about that shower. If Winnebago can fix that, figure out some engineering right there, I would love to have this. In fact, I was dying to have this one. It was just that. A little too hunched over. I can use the toilet fine. It's not the perfect toilet. It is porcelain, which is nice. So it's easier to clean. But man, I can just whip up something here, go out here, hang out with my friends, but it all depends on the mission you have when it comes to something like this. And this one here is at 150,000. Um, 30% down in 180 months. 224,000 um, MSRP. But I like this van. Uh, I like the design of it. It's just that shower is the deal breaker for me. I don't know. Maybe I'll get shorter when I get older. But you have all the connections here. There's another thing you got to think about. Now, like I said, these vans are not necessarily for uh, camping. Yeah, you can you can park it anywhere, park it in any normal spot. But like this one, if you do full hookups, you got to keep your door open. There's no inlet to bring water in here full time. And that was a change they did from the older model to the newer model. The uh, so. If this is something that you'll fill your tank, you're on the road. You can go to the campground, dump it, fill your tank, but it's not something you're just going to hook it up to uh, full hookups and leave it there. So it's something to think about when you're doing something like this. Uh, I've heard the bed's a little tight for two people, but it is the wind sleep, wind sleep system and it's very comfortable. So if you want to do some wilderness type traveling here, there's the style, the, the camper goes in the back of the truck. Usually a dually. You want to have a dually with these. But I didn't catch this model here. It's called a Northern Light. But you're sleeping over your truck bed here. Or your truck cab rather. You got a little storage there. A little TV there. A little dinette right here. You know, this is something to think about really. You got a sink. You got a stove with an oven. Propane. A little um, uh, ventilation hood there. Your mirror is in this refrigerator. So what a great combo there. It's a Dometic refrigerator. This is an absorption fridge, so it'll work on propane and or electricity. Being uh, one that you put in the back of the pickup, that kind of makes sense. And uh, plastic toilet. That's something I would upgrade almost immediately. You can kind of see some of the plumbing exposed there. But I could stand up in this shower. I just can't turn around with my big feet here. I wear a size 11 10 shoes here. It's a little tight for me. But can, it, can you work it? Yeah, you can work it. Let's go look at this one over here. In fact, I'll just step from this step to this step. And this pretty much looks the same to me. It's got a little cover. On the sink, the sink may be a little bit bigger, but same similar setup here. I do like that mirror in the fridge. That's kind of a cool idea. I've never seen that before. So this is what they call a B plus. It's actually Class C technically, but it's basically it's got a box on the back with a, a B Class B type front, and they're fairly nice. But that one is pretty packed. The Pleasure Way is a very popular rig. So I'm here on the very second day and look at this already sold. So they're not selling them now, but 
this is the Nova. And Coachman has um, multiple versions of vans. Uh, it just depends uh, on the chassis it's on. So the Nova chassis is going to be the Ram. Uh, the uh, Beyond chassis is going to be the Ford. And I'm trying to remember, the third one is a Mercedes, and I can't remember the name of it right off the top of my head. But I do want to see these Coleman's here, or it's Coachman's rather. And Coachman's one of the oldest uh, builders around. But, you know, it's similar to the Gretsch, but I mean, it's not as much of the quality as a Gretsch. It's going to be a little cheaper. But this is what I want to see in the Coachman right here. I'm really curious. So you have these doors. And this one doesn't have it, but sometimes they have a little flap where you can kind of have it in an angle. And I'm concerned, you know, this is a wet bath, but I'm concerned about the height. So I'm six foot and I'm doing okay as far as height. And uh, this does have a shower curtain that mounts here, but uh, we're going to check the toilet out. That's the other thing. And I want to check it out with the doors closed here. How is it well cooped up? I'm okay. I can handle this. I don't have any... It's the elbow rim. So I have to turn sideways to get the elbow rim. But here we go with the toilet set. <sighs> Toilet's a little high. I can do it, but it's not the greatest uh, thing here. This door is right here. Got to do the reach around test. I am right handed and uh, probably need to learn some ambidexterity on some things, especially when I have uh, carpal tunnel flare ups. But yeah, I guess this is okay. The coachman is actually one of the ones I'd like to look at, so I'm just going to check it out here. This is Garrett with National Indoor RV Centers, and uh, I was asking about that last van I was just in. That is the 22C, but it's on the Promaster, Promaster chassis, so it's the Nova. And uh, Garrett has his own channel. Tell us about your channel. Yeah, I mean, I just started my channel. It's G Travels. Um, you know, we carry a lot of Novas, carry Beyonds, carry the Galleria. Um, we carry a lot of Force River Coachman products. So come check us out, National Indoor. We're in Louisville. Um, love to work with them. And have you ever seen Angie giving uh, uh, RV reviews? Does she, where's she office at? Angie, she at? Angie's actually right in Dallas. Um, Dallas is our flagship store. We've got Angie there, we've got Brett there, and all the big dogs. And um, yeah, Angie works out right in Dallas. Oh, well, very cool. So see Garrett, uh, go to his channel, it's G Travels, that's G E E Travels. And I just subscribed to him. I think I'm your 29th subscriber. He yeah. just published it. So go check out his channel. He does some more higher end RVs. And uh, I'm looking forward to watching some. So. Subscribe now. Um, when I get big, I'll give you some good deals. All right, good deal. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Just going through all these uh, fifth wheels here. And uh, I have all day out here. And uh, it actually runs till uh, Saturday or Sunday. It is Friday. But fifth wheels are nice and roomy. They're more of a home type deal. And they're great depending on your travel style. There's more here. Oh, there's alliances here. We will check out one of those alliances. I will at least. Heck, let's do it right now. There's Alliance of Valor. Love those lights. Come with soft glow white there. Lights is one of my favorite brands. Big storage area under here. These uh, solid state, solid lippered steps. Solid steps is what it's called. Going upstairs here. Uh, is that a king? That may be an RV king. Or sort of king size. That may be just a regular king. Got the toilet. No problem with the toilet there. You got a Mayfly. This is Texas. I say you got plenty of room in here. Do I dare step inside? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's a little bit bigger than a uh, Class B van. Really like it. Got plenty of room to move around here. The Lions, I want to say, I haven't really heard about them until the past year or so, but they got some very nice RVs. Love the faux fireplace right there. Of course, they, you can't pump heat out of those. Look at this kitchen. 
just look at the space in this kitchen and a big big oven big graystone oven you're gonna see a lot of brands that you necessarily won't see in your house there are some residential systems in some of these but it's a refrigerator a nice big fridge like I said these things are a lot more homely oh this is a 12 volt fridge so this is specific for RVs you got multiple drawers here and it's ice cold so this will run on batteries when you're traveling on a lithium system and then when you get parked you just plug it in and it's what's called a toy hauler <coughs> how cool is that little half bath back here uh i got this the toilet here and yes i'm lifting every lid no these toilets have been used so don't get grossed out but yeah one problem my knee is out this door i don't think no maybe for a kid but not for me this is for like if you have your uh so if you have like a golf cart or a four-wheeler you name it you can you can pull it back here they got couches that come down and also up there that right there is a bed and then you have a little uh little uh, porch out there little balcony i guess that you can just uh enjoy cool drinks as you watch the sunset i just heard somebody comment that they don't give you a lot of living space Toy haulers are the way to go to get the maximum living space. They really are. Um, but you got to be mindful of the sizes of these to toy haulers. Uh, some of them can get up to 16,000 pounds to pull, which it's within your classy driver's license range until you put the truck on there. And when you're pulling a pulling it with this five to 7,000 pound truck, maybe 9,000 pound truck dually, you're going to go over your limit there. So you'll need to have a class A license, maybe a class A exempt, not necessarily CDL. But this one is also Valor. This one also seems to be a toy hauler. We've got a lot of toy haulers over here. Watch your steps around there. Hey. Right. Okay, here's one that it's not a toy hauler. I believe, I at least believe it's not a toy hauler. So you have a nice living area. And that's what I like is be able to visit with your friends. Get the faux uh, fireplace again. Big Sansui TV. Got the large oven. It's not as big as the other one with a microwave. Got a nice sink area. And here's something you don't think about a lot, but a nice pantry would be nice. Little coffee bar, and a lot of times underneath you'll have uh, plugs. There are plugs back there, so you can run your coffee maker. Some people like to have it as a taco bar. Nice large shower here. This one seems a little shorter to me, but I can do it. There's a shower head there. Yeah, I'm fine here, but it's kind of tight over here. Each one is going to be a little different. No problems using the restrooms there. A big king size bed back here. Barn style door right here. The lights are not flickering in here. That's the shutter rate of my camera. And then you got a nice large area for a closet here. A lot of these will also contain washer and dryers here. Got a place to store some of your stuff here. This is where you're going to put your TV. That didn't come with one. But I'm sure these dealerships will be more than happy for a fee to put a TV in for you. Excuse me. Okay, this is double tree, double tree sweeps, double sweets. This is called the Big D. These are the high-end luxury fifth wheels. 
it's got a little propane generator there. Uh, no, that one's actually gas. So it's got a gas generator and a lot of them are propane. So this obviously has gas tanks in there. Okay. To run something like that. Huge pass-through areas here. Uh, custom paint jobs. These are not uh, always stickers. Sometimes these are paint jobs. I, don't, I can't say 100% that's the case in this one. Dual entry. You definitely need to have a Class A license to drive one of these in the state of Texas. Because your combination of your vehicle and this is going to be over 26,000 pounds. But this is a bit of a higher end one and very popular right now. So let's walk down here a little bit and see if we can get one that is not as full right now. But this one is a toy hauler right here. Down down here. I'm telling you, the quality is off the charts here. And this one has a rare rear bedroom. A lot of times the bedrooms are up front. Very nice stove. Solid countertops. Let's check out this bedroom. There's a TV up there. And a big old shower. And I'm telling you, that's very, very tall. I don't even need to step in there. I think you got plenty of room here to do your business. Little ceiling fans here. Let's kind of go up front a little bit here. So here's a uh, place for your washer and dryer. And uh, this toilet can almost just be angled a little bit differently. I do like this <laughs> sink. I mean, that's a that's not a cheapy sink. And here we go. I'm gonna sit on the toilet here. Okay, if I was left-handed, I'd be okay because there's the wall. I can't squeeze around, so that'd be a no for me based on the toilet itself. But they have plenty to offer out here. Looks like a little bed right there. And a bed right there. Oh, so this is like the kids room. This is a cool design. I really like this design. So you got two twin beds over here. And a large screen TV. And you got a table in the center here. That is pretty awesome. The only other negative thing I have is, of course, you got the carpets here. That has to be with some slides. Some have half hardwood floors, but four vents. These four vents right here, they're great. They're very efficient as far as moving air, especially heat, because you want heat rises. And it's got a pretty tall ceiling here. So you, those probably call there, and you would have your warm air coming out of the furnace out of the floor here. The only thing you got to really be mindful of, you're going to drop stuff down in there. In fact, I see some dirt in this one. And if you have small critters, animals that may have uh, tags on their collar, uh, they do get caught in these things every now and then. So that's something to think about. If you don't have pets, not a big deal. If you're, you, But uh, it is more efficient, but you have to think about that as well. The funny thing about the one we just saw is I don't see a price tag on it. So I'm not going to even ask. But I guarantee uh, these are higher end ones. They're better built. Let's see if they got price here. Well, here's a DRV. Uh, 237,000, 158 uh, on show show price for 170. So you're going to pay more of what you get for a, a motorized version for a, a pull behind something like this. But these are high end, high end paint jobs, everything. A little outdoor TV as well. How many of y'all remember the Kmart Blue Light Special? Leave me a note down in the comments if you remember the Blue Light Special. Okay, I'm in a section that has a lot of Thor products. And uh, this is the Vegas. And it's a Class A RV. It drives like a Class A RV. It's a lot smaller, but it is a, uh, I believe it's on a Class C chassis, if, I'm, if I recall correctly. But this one right here is 24.1, total length of 26 feet. 
This has a, let me see what it's got here. Kind of has a twin convertible to a uh, king size bed here. And I like this, it's a lot smaller. And do we have slide outs on this? Yes, we do have one slide out for the couch here. So, and a uh, little uh, hideaway bed that comes down over the top here. But it feels like a full size class A in some results, in some respects, but it is definitely a smaller A model and you can fit in a lot more places. I do like the, I'm guessing this is a Gerard uh, instant hot water heater. So you don't have to take the short, short military showers if you're in full hookups. By the way, I did go through the Camping World section earlier and uh, they kind of swarm you. Well, what can I do to get you an RV today? Uh, boy, I'm just looking, I'm about a year out, if that. So I tell him I got a lot going on with life. He wants specifics. <laughs> I was like, but uh, you can hear them cheering, and I guess that's because every show they make, they, they start cheering. So, but I am looking for a specific RV, and I want to see if I can find it out here. It is a Class C, and there's a couple Class A's I want to see, but we'll see if we can find them. I'm outside here. Still haven't found the RV I've been looking for, but I'm sure it's out here somewhere. So let's continue looking for it. I'm looking for the Integra 25R. They have some Jayco's out here, which are our sister company to the Integra, but so far I'm striking out, but I want to show you this one. This is a Freedom Elite. This is made by Thor. And uh, just give you a little idea. This has no slides whatsoever. And uh, they want to use the toilet out here. Checking out the shower. Shower is very narrow. Uh, probably not for me because I mean I, my arm is over the shower pan so that's not gonna work but it's something to think about you don't have slide outs and everything stays pretty compact this is a uh, 22 I want to say it does have a little dinette there um, overhead bunk Don't know what the weight limits are on those bunks, and that's something you have to think about. On the Jayco's, uh, or rather the Integra's, like the 25R, the one I'm looking for, they have a bunk over the cab as well, but that bunk can hold 750 pounds. So even big boys like me can get on top of it. That 25R is a very, very popular model, so uh, I'm not surprised that they couldn't get in stock here. They said uh, Camping World South has three of them in the nation, and they're all used. So that tells you how popular of a model it is. But that, to me, would be a perfect first-time RV that's motorized. So this right here, it's probably a little more affordable than most people's price ranges. This is the Mini Winnie. This is the Micro Mini which is a Winnebago product. And you can probably pull these more with a pickup truck, not necessarily the vehicle I have. But it's nice and roomy in here. You have a toilet. Let me see, shower test. Can I get in here? Yeah, I can make this do. I mean, if you're at the edge, it's a little short, but you get the little window there, it works fine. Not too terribly bad. That's uh, that's board, that's laminated over board, that's not solid countertops. But I mean, it's lighter weight. Not real, real solid. Got a little Sansui TV in there. Little stove top, no oven. It's got a small uh, microwave convection oven, so you can do a little bit of baking there. And it's a Murphy bed. This one's called Connect. It's got dual entry, so if you got slides closed, you can get in. But I do like these outdoor kitchens, and the 25R has one. This is a, uh, a little griddle here that you can pull out. And a grill out here with a sink and a refrigerator while you're outside. 25R has that. Not necessarily a griddle. I'm, I'm sure you can not substitute a griddle on there, but it has a stove top. Uh, that slides out like this. But unfortunately they don't have any on here. I think they're a little too popular of a rig. 
and they sell pretty quickly. As soon as they get in, they're oftentimes already sold. So maybe one you have to special order. Here's what I like. It's so big, can't get it all in frame. I'm actually just pretty close to it. This is called New Camp. And they, they're very well built. They're just very, very small. But you have a little bed back here. It's like a oversized teardrop. Little TV. Somebody popped some popcorn in here. I smell it. It's got uh, bunk beds with a capacity of 200 pounds. So I can't use that. But here's the toilet. It looks like a plastic toilet. And as far as height, I'm all right with the height. Um, but it does seem a little cramped in here. Put my knees down here. I'm not gonna sit down, I'm just gonna flex over it. But I have it for myself, I don't know. But this is more something you can carry with a pickup. It does have a little isotherm fridge. And looks like a little chiller that can that's that's ice cubes right there. So gotta close the little chiller down. But there is there are a wide variety here, but this show is a lot smaller than it used to be when, when I last came out here, but I was out here long before COVID hit. I want to say 10, 15 years uh, before COVID hit. So I'm not seeing everything I want to see. Uh, the Class A's I want to see, I don't see any of those out here uh, that I particularly wanted to see, uh, which is the uh, Fleetwood series, uh, um, Southwind. Uh, I think the bounders are all aligned to the same thing. And uh, um, there's the 35K and the 37F. Those are the two bottles I'm going to see. I want to see the Integra 25R. They didn't even have it in a Jayco product. So uh, they said there was only three of those left in the nation that were used in their entire inventory. So I don't know if Camping World does Integra. Integra is a little bit nicer version of it. It's their sister products. So there's a lot of things that are the same there. But didn't get to see everything I wanted to. But I got to go in the 59 GL. And I really appreciate going to that. I got to go in the Gresh. And Gresh... It's probably worth the money. I'm just going to say that that was very luxurious. The 22C, I wasn't as impressed with uh, that being a, the uh, the Ram Nova version. Uh, I was wanting the Beyond version, but I think there's not really that much of a difference. But uh, boy, that Gresh with the four seats up front, that was very nice and uh, out of my price range, but maybe I'll win the lottery. Who knows? I was talking to the people here at the T-Mobile booth and uh, I like these but I heard they're only supposed to be in one place but she said no you can travel with it we don't have any restrictions on that we just need an address for you to be to see if you qualify but unlimited uh, high-speed internet for uh, 60 bucks a month it might be something I would think about I'm still wandering around here and I didn't see the Super C's so this is a new Mar these you had to have a class B license. If you're going to tow a vehicle, you have to have a class A license. So, probably won't be interested in these, but they're a lot beefier and a lot more Tim. In fact, I have my friend Paul just got one. Not Prep Him Paul, another Paul. But you have seen them in the videos. So, it's kind of a, it's called Super C. Sometimes there's bunk over the beds here, sometimes it's just something set up like this. But, uh, it's a lot roomier. Of course, the slides are out. There's not going to be this wide in here. Well, if you were laying down, you got a residential stall refrigerator here, Whirlpool. I guess that is the only one here. Got bunk beds. Maximum weight of 250. I'm pushing right now. I'm at 245. I do need to lose weight. Nice little shower. Plenty of room above my head here. It looks like a decent toilet. Hopefully. It's porcelain. Two beds, yeah. A little porcelain toilet there. Nice ceramic sink. Yeah. So you can carry a lot more weight here. And a lot of times this, these will have 30,000 pound uh, G VWRs. Or even more when GCWR, which is combined weight rating. Rather than just vehicle weight rating. Definitely a new mattress. Most of these RVs, they just got a mattress to start you off with. 
looks like an access to a converter here, inverter of some sort. Safe, safe to say. And I see vents right here, so that tells me this could be a stackable washer and dryer. So there you go, folks. And on some that will run the generator as we're going down the road to wash clothes. But I don't think you can necessarily do that here because right here is a slide out. So when you put this whole slide back in here, it's going to block that. So you need to be at the campground or your destination. And that's another thing to think about. What do you want in your setup? You know, uh, slide outs are great. They expand the place, but do they block things when you're on the road? Do you want to have access to everything when you pull over at a rest stop? Because you're not going to necessarily be able to put your slide outs out of the rest stop or a Walmart parking lot for that matter. But, uh, you know, do you need access to everything? Because some are destination only trailers. I mean, they're great when you're there. But when you slide everything in, you lose access to your living room, uh, access to your kitchen, access to your bathroom. I'm more about the journey. I want access to everything I can have when I'm on that journey. Size does matter too. The bigger the unit, the more you can carry. It's hard to central back system go off, which is great. Uh, you know, if you want to be there for a while or something, situa some situation like that. But if you're, um, if you want to be more mobile, smaller is better. You're going to be the most mobile in a Class B van, but you have the least amount of room. You're going to be have the most room in a fifth wheel, but you're not going to be as mobile and you're not going to be able to camp and park as many places as you would a van, for instance. And sometimes you need an adventure van or an overland type of van that you can actually go off road, off the beaten highway sometimes. And a lot of times those are gonna be smaller. Not always. Or you get something like an earth romer, which is, once again, it's big, but it is uh, capable off road. It has that ability. And so there, there's a lot of factors to think about. You know, what do you want in an RV? Right now, I can't afford an RV, but maybe in the next year or two, we'll see how life takes me. Maybe I would uh, be able to do something like that. I would love to. I tried a water fountain earlier. They were shut off. I'm so happy I got some water there. I really needed that drink. Oh, I love these things. This is an Oliver. It kind of reminds me of a, a Scamp or a Casita. It's just one of those small, small trailers that I can pull with my vehicle. Let's go check it out. These are not cheap. This is a 18 point. 18, 18 foot 5 inches. <laughs> I was about to say 18.5, but no. And it's $83,700 out of pocket. Well, let's go check it out. Kind of follow out the steps there. All right. I think, if I recall correctly, these are two piece systems. So, this the fiberglass piece going all the way over the roof here. That's one side, and then the bottom part is one piece. So it's all one piece, no carpet. I don't want carpet in here. I don't know what that is. It looks like it might be a magnet. It is. It's on this microwave, microwave convection. So you can actually cook something in there. And let's see, the refrigerator with a little chiller. It's a little 12 volt compressor. What I like is they have these little individual things to keep your bottles from clanging against each other. Mirror. Okay, here's some truth here. This is the bathroom of the Oliver. And I uh, just want you to see how I look here. Right here, um, almost at six foot, a little short here. This is not as bad as the 59G. It is the fiberglass um, top here. Does have the little fan. But, uh, you know, for 4,000 pounds, this is about the only complaint I got about it. The toilet's fine. The reach around test works. And that's important. Let's see, is this a little closed closet here? What do we have here? It is a little closet of some sort. Does it have a hanging rod? It does. 
So, and this is a, a mat. You actually put your bed on this side of that mat. And what that does is uh, that forces it to where there's gonna be air under your mattress and you don't get mold on it because you will be in damp climates. You'll be out there in the wild for uh, a lot of the time. A lot of fire extinguisher there. Hole number 1482. And it's got uh, everything but the cedar on there. And I've only bonked my head three times. A nice little uh, Gerard awning there. Probably has a wind sensor, so if you get a little wind um, puff there and it kind of moves it, it's going to uh, suck it back in automatically if you have it on that way. You don't want to do it when you don't want to leave your uh, awning out when you have a storm coming or this period. You just don't want to. Little portable uh, charger there. This is not too bad. It's just that little bathroom. Of course, the dinette table that we saw there that can convert into a bed. And uh, four thousand dollars, four thousand pounds. I can actually pull that with my Ford Explorer. Now this one's twenty-three six inches. It's outside the weight of what I could pull with my car. But let me just see one thing. Similar layout, just a lot bigger. Let's check out this bathroom. Would you believe it? I actually fit in this one. Barely. But I mean, I'm standing up right there. Might even need just a little bit more room. No, I'm not using it. I'm just checking the height. I promise me I'm not Don't using it. <laughs> so, this is neat. And this one I can actually stand up in. That was my test. Uh, the other one, um, like that. So, one person bed. It probably uh, collapses down and put a cushion across it or something like that. I don't know. But I like these two piece of uh, fiberglass. So there you are, the two piece. There's your top piece and your bottom piece. So you're not going to get the leaks like you would on something that has a lot of seams because that is the seam for the entire vehicle. And then you have these little things, which is basically a place with a bed. It looks like there's two beds in this one. You might get a TV. That's a little space for a TV and an air conditioner. But that's about all it is. Oh, here's a cool one. It's got a little rear kitchen on it. Do all your cooking outdoors. It's called Survival Series. It's got the gnarly tires. But there you go. There's your TV. This one we just saw with the kitchen. Air conditioner. You kind of relax here. There's no bathroom or anything like that. And this is probably a little locking closet. Little electronics there. Very basic, but this is a glorified tent with an AC system. This so, is an Ibex, where you'll see the gnarly tires on there. And you'll see a little bit more uh, ground clearance as well. If you want to go out in some of the BLM lambs and stuff like that. Got a little uh, vacuum there. You sleep up you sleep up your mess, you just kick the plate up, it on, it back off, and everybody at the show stares at you. But there's a little Murphy bed that pops out of the wall there. A little uh, dinette, toilet. Uh-oh. Let's check it out. This looks plastic. It's plastic. Yeah, this is not going to work for me. And the uh, shower, it's got quite a step up. I might fit in that. I'm sorry, that <laughs> toilet is uh, a no-go for me. That's for sure. So this is the 2024 Forest River Ibex. It kind of looks like an Overlander type setup. I mean, they're not rough and tough, but I mean, they got the gnarly tires that make it look rough and tough. But it is a fiberglass side trailer. Some of these rough and tough uh, trailers, they got uh, that bed liner type stuff sprayed on them, so nothing's gonna scratch. I guarantee this will scratch. 
looks like it's got a little uh, couch that moves out there and a little garage it's kind of like a garage got a table there and I believe this is the Murphy bed that comes down too I believe Matt from Matt's RV reviews did review this one and I kind of like this kind of classy looking old school refrigerator and at the freezer down at the bottom got plenty of room for stuff in there you have the induction um, stove top there a little uh, induction or a convection microwave I kind of like that style microwave where you pull it down double sinks because you want to brush your teeth together plenty of room porcelain Got your old air pan going there. This is kind of nice. It's got plenty of room in here. But check out this thing. I'm afraid I would go through the tanks too quickly, but you see those mid body sprayers right there. It's not. It's not big, but it's not real small. But you know what? I'm touching both the ends here, so got a little bit more room this way than I do this way. I don't want to break the door trying to wash my hair, you know. So, it's nice being six foot, but sometimes it's not always the best thing. Let's look at this closet. Oh, we got a washer dryer combo down here. Check that out. I wasn't expecting that. A little outside hose there, too. Looks like it's got some hanging storage if you want to take some of these shelves out. Very nice. I do like this green here. And they are using Asdale, so it's less likely to delaminate on you. Uh, sometimes they use what's called Luon. And Luon is basically, it's basically like a wood, and then you uh, will laminate the fiberglass over that, and then get air bubbles in there, and a little moisture bubbles, and it starts to delaminate. And that's not what you want, because that's very costly to repair. So Asdale is definitely a, a good thing to have. It used to be on just a few RVs, but now you're seeing more and more on more RVs. I almost missed this one, but this is a Montana, and I like the uh, layout of here. Not the biggest fan of the uh, the uh, cable slides, but they're they're okay. You just have to adjust them on occasion. But this is a 3941 FO, and it's a uh, it's a fifth wheel. It's a heavier one does have an outdoor kitchen here with a griddle. It doesn't have a sink or anything like that. It's like a little refrigerator or something. Just to store a couple things. Look at that storage back there. And it's got a slide out tray to come out of the back. But it seems very popular. I'm trying to get it in between people here. But it is very, very nice. Show price at $102,995. Yeah, you're definitely gonna need to have uh, class A to pull this, but it comes with a, uh, the Furion stove top with oven. It does have four registers. That's, that's take or leave it. Here's a, looks like it's a, uh, convection microwave. So it does bake and it does microwave as well. You have a residential, uh, fridge, which is just uh, your standard 120 fridge. Just happens to be a, uh, GE fridge, huge food storage here, and uh, and the uh, freezer space there. Oh, it has an ice maker back there. That's kind of cool. Nice big farm style sink. You go back here. You have the uh, dinette, the restroom here. Nice, nice shower here. And, uh, yeah, I, I make it in the shower just fine. Of course, it does have the sky. It gives me a little bit more room to get that sprayer above my head. Toilet. It's porcelain. It's got the reach-around area there. Nice little mirror. Sink. That is not metal. That looks metal, but it is not metal. 
I'm sure you can replace it with a metal sink if you like. Feels like a plastic. But this is uh, your bedroom here. Plenty of room back here. But what I like about this is kind of a split. And so you have right here is your living room. All right, cool. Thank you, sir. Oh, excuse me. And uh, you got a couch here. You got a couch right across from it. And these fall out, correct? Yes, sir. They, they fall out. Then you have a little theater seat right there. Another floor vent. You got your fireplace. A uh, little a big screen, little screen TV. That's a big screen TV. And this is what I like right here. You can close yourself off with this door and you have your own office space here. I love to have an office space where I can do my editing or I can work my regular day job because I have a sedentary day job. And uh, it seems like you're on I own a little cocoon in here, so I like that. When I'm talking about license classes, it depends on the state you're in. So I believe Florida and maybe Tennessee, you could drive your own semi-rig. If it's your personal vehicle, pull in your own humongous trailer with just a basic driver's license. I wouldn't do that right off the bat. I would practice and take some lessons, something to do that. Texas is different. I think the class C is good up to 26,000 and one pound. I don't know why they put that one pound on there, but you can uh, drive anything with a Class C up to 26,000, one pound, or up to 15 passengers in a vehicle. You can't go beyond that, and it quiz the driver. So, um, other states have different rules. I think Arizona, you can drive any vehicle you want as long as it's personal. You don't have to have a special driver's license for that. So, every place is different. That's how it is in Texas. I kind of wish they'd make the exception, but with some of the drivers on the roads here, I can kind of see why they wouldn't. So, uh, I'm, I'm, wish I had a Class A license. I actually have a Class C M, which means I can drive any standard road, car, or vehicle, pickup truck, you name it, anything under 26,001 pound, and a motorcycle. So, and I haven't ridden a motorcycle in years, but uh, maybe someday I'll own one. I don't know. I wouldn't mind having one. It's nice freedom to feel uh, when you're out there on the road sometimes. Another one of my favorite vehicles is the uh, Winnebago View or Navion. They're sister products that are basically the same, but this is one of them. It's not the one I want, but this is the 24D as in Delta. I would like to find the 24B as a Victor, so. This is what you call a B plus. It technically is a C because you got the van front, you got the Mercedes chassis, and uh, the bed up here. I think this holds 500 pounds, maybe. Don't quote me on that. Look it up. Let me know in the comments. But this is the D, and it's a Murphy bed. So the only thing with this is this slide has to go out for the Murphy bed to come down. So again. You're taking a journey, you're going to pull off on a rest stop. You may or may not be able to put the slide out to put the bed down. You got a, a microwave down here. Is it a convection microwave? Yeah. Uh, might be the inner trunk there. So, uh, and it does have an induction stove top as well as a propane stove top. So, pieces are missing off of that. But this is the 24D, and let's see if it's like the V. The TV should come out. Okay, so there's a hinge there. So maybe if I uh, get a little more aggressive there, I'm not gonna break it. But underneath there is a paper towel holder and there's uh, things you can put up in here. I'm sure there's a little latch or something I'm missing there. Just like the Travato has these uh, style um, cabinets. And this one is way back in the back here is your bathroom. I do like this. You see this uh, shower curtain? When you open them back up, it squeegees off all the water. So you don't have to keep cleaning that. But a uh, decent sized shower. Oh, <laughs> I, I hit my head on this clothes bar. But uh, yeah, barely doable. And that's only because of the skylight. It's got the ox oxygen shower head there. But it is very narrow. I mean, 
very, very cramped. Now, if they have a 24B here, I would like to see that one. That one I am interested in. Can't believe I forgot about that uh, 24B, but I do want to see that one, see how the shower is. The same shower, that's kind of a tight spot. Not as tight as the uh, Gervato 59 GL, but again, that breaks my heart on the 59 GL. If they fix that shower, that would be an ideal uh, van for fan life, for me. But I am impressed with the Grudge. I didn't think I liked the Grudge as much as I did. Okay, I had to come back to the Grudge. I love this one. This leather is so incredibly soft. But I noticed there's a seat belt there too. And the one right there. Quarter million dollars. I think this is worth it. Take a road trip with your friends. Yeah, I can do this. Well, I'm going to hang out here, look at a few more rigs. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, this is the Dow Show. It's not as big as it used to be. I used to, every single one I wanted to see, I would be able to see it. And there's been two or three RVs here, or maybe four or five, I don't know, that I wanted to see, some I forgot about, until I saw others that were a similar model. And, uh, Unfortunately, they're not here, so I hope this grows again. Pre-COVID, this place was packed. Uh, lots of people here, lots of energy, and it's just not what it used to be. But there used to be vehicles parked all along the front side here by the freeway, all on the back side. It kept going on, on. Uh, it's just not the same. But you know what? COVID did a number to our country, and so we're still recovering from it. But. Uh, don't forget to get yourself out in life and start enjoying your life and the things about it. I can afford an RV right now, but it doesn't mean I don't want to play and look at them. I enjoyed that. And uh, someday I will have one. I'm putting that out of the universe. Uh, but uh, right now I'm in a transition period, so the videos are not coming up as much. I noticed that it's been over 45. 50 days since I put my last video up when we went on top of the GMRS tower. I hope to get back to going full time with this channel again. I really do miss it. It's a lot of fun for me. The whole process of putting it out there and uh, having people watch it. I love that and I uh, love you guys for supporting me on that. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd love to have you on board. Uh, like I said, there may be dry periods where I'm not able to upload. I'm going through something and I just can't break away to make the video. So, to make sure you don't miss my next video, please subscribe. Um, I did do a, uh, a second channel for a short time. I ended that. I might pick that back up, but those were daily videos and I did like 102 days in a row. But, man, there's a lot more to look at out here that I have no clue about. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having fun doing it. But for now, y'all take care, be safe, bye.